He has a professional record of 46 wins, 32 by knockout, 10 losses, and one draw. Lex champion mondial, former world heavyweight champion de Halifax en Nouvelle-Écosse from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Trevor Burbank. 12 par KO, 5 défaites et 1 verdict nul. He has a professional record of 22 wins, 12 by knockout, 5 losses and 1 draw. Il est le champion canadien en titre. He is the Canadian heavyweight king of the ring. De Montréal, en provenance de Nanaimo, en Colombie-Britannique, from British Columbia, now living in Montreal, Shane Sutcliffe! In championship, Dino Sisto alongside Don Majeski here in Montreal. We've been looking forward to this fight all night, and it is underway. You don't expect. So he's got to put the pressure on Burbick, and he's doing a good job of it right now. A fight. He has sort of again feeling him out. Shane is dominating the round. What is? Yet to land a punch. There is a bit of a punch. He got through a couple of right hands there. Not sure what Burbick wants. Not sure exactly what the problem was. Good right hand by Sutcliffe. He got it between the gloves, and Sutcliffe continues here and scores. Yep. Sutcliffe all the way. No question about that. Okay. Good left hand there. Terrific left hand by Shane Sutcliffe, and that caught Burbick right on the chin. Well, they're looking for that short left hand, aren't they? Yes. Now, I'll tell you, uh, Bernardo Mercado knocked out Burbick. He hit him in an awkward style, but this is about as awkward as I've seen him. Some of those movements, as you see right there. Yes, I don't know. Is that sort of a ballet stroke he was trying in here? It's like a man fighting literally in slow motion. It looks like these old films you see of Jack Johnson when he was at the end of his career boxing exhibitions at 50. Oh, that, that one hurt. Shot. Yes. That one hurt. You saw the reaction by Burbick. That was a clean body shot, a right hand to the ribs. I'm not so sure. I, I don't know what Trevor Burbick is doing in there. I can't read anything that I've ever seen. Look at that. That's bizarre behavior. It reminds me of the Olive McCall performance against Lennox Lewis a couple of years ago when the guy basically cut and ran in the middle of the ring. Well, fans here seem to like it. You know, well, heavyweights, you know, the anticipation of a knockout at any time is something to keep you on your feet. Again, quick round, but Burbick, uh, what is this? What is that? It's a credit. He's playing with the crowd to get the crowd on his side. Sometimes you can do it too. Just have fun too. Good right hand on the part of Burbick. He's starting to fight a bit more this round, Dino. Defense now. Oh, but he unleashes a good right hand, and you know what? Mercado and Mike Tyson ever knocked this man out. Strength thus far. 70 seconds to go in round three. And a little bit of a rabbit punch. Head. Yeah. And again, back sever. Oh, a right hand, and that hurt him. One would think it did. <laughs> and a solid right hand by Burbick. It will be interesting to see. Round, I still think Sutcliffe, and there he goes again with the right hand. As Sutcliffe connects in round number three. And Burbick is now manhandling Sutcliffe. He's hurting Sutcliffe. All right, getting stronger as we move along, and Sutcliffe isn't. He's ripping those right hands, and Sutcliffe is right up there. That note on a show here for the fans in Montreal. I'll tell you, so this is turning out to be a heck of a good fight. Uh, competitive. You see Burbick coming in now, landing. Sutcliffe should stay away a little and take advantage of his speed. Good right right hand. Solid shot. That was the best punch of the fight. Sutcliffe showing a little more respect, staying yes. away. But again, they exchange right hands there. They are just like two cavemen. If you recall that Perlini Sutcliffe fight, this isn't much different. And he's, but he's walking right into the oh. Another solid shot. Another one. It's the brawl. And as when he brawls, Burbick is, you know, is landing. 
Sutcliffe there. He had an example of an exchange, and though Sutcliffe landed a big overhand right. Quincy came back with uh, Shane, and uh, he won the round, in my opinion. So we got an even oh, fight. Oh, this hurt Shane. Right up back a cut. And another one. And another right hand. Big, big round for Burbick. Another right hand. He can't get away from that right hand, and Trevor knows it, Dino. Burbick moves in with a right hand again, and lines up Sutcliffe, and he starts connecting big time here. And Dino, he's not throwing a punch in return at all. Nothing. He looks like he could be out on his feet. Look Shane Sutcliffe needs to do something here, and needs to do it quick to fend off Trevor Burbick. A remarkable upset if this takes place, and maybe Burbick fights the semifinal in the Garden on March 13th. The 45-year-old Trevor Burbick can smell the Canadian Championship. Oh, right up, and he's just pounding Shane Sutcliffe. It's like a, a batting practice here. Shane is not responding whatsoever. The referee's going to take a look at this. Amazing. He's got to protect that right hand. He's, he's got to keep that left up, and Shane doesn't know how to do it. That jab and move to keep away that right hand, but he's not jabbing. You see, he's standing right in front of him, and he's pulling the jab. Getting we were quite a concern, but that's the way he trains, I guess. He just doesn't exert his energies in the gym, and he saves it for the fight. Well, Great. Three, Jutra. Thank you very much. Well, that's an old fighter. He doesn't have to work that hard. Right hand by Sutcliffe, a desperation shot. Burbick right. wobbled a bit, but... But Burbick is taking this fight to Sutcliffe, and he's landing the right hand. He's fighting basically with one hand, the right hand, and it's getting through. And Sutcliffe is not reacting to it. I don't think Shane's got very much left in those legs, though. Oh, and he's taking some shot punishment. Shot. It's amazing to me. Trevor Burbick just punishing on, Shane Sutcliffe here at the tail end of round number nine. Three rounds will remain at the end of this round. And three very successfully. What they have to do is what they did with Rocky Martin. Tie that, I would tie Shane Sutcliffe's left to my to his chin uh, in the future to make sure he learns how to protect himself from an overhand right. Obviously, he never learned that in the fun. The 12th and final round of this Canadian heavyweight championship fight between Trevor Burbick, the former world champion, and the Canadian champion, Shane Sutcliffe. New Canadian champion! Amazing. Sutcliffe did go down, and he needs some help to get back to the corner. Oh, my. Down and out, and that was more spectacular than the Wallet knockout. Amazing. Oh, my. I'll tell you, this goes down in the books as one of the great upsets, and I'll tell you this, Dino, 1970s Canadian champ, 1980s, 1990s, and into the year 2000. I, mean, but I think he's contemplating a comeback. <laughs> Good line. Oh, what a sweet, sweet feeling for Trevor Burbick here.